I'm gonna fuck this damn job and they can suck my Attention all Walmart associates. Kevin, you thought you was a funny. You were a silly, small, dirty Walmart, white racist ass, indie animals. I swear to God, y'all can suck my and y'all got me and I'm finna pay shit back, eat my in the back, and all y'all medicine can eat my step victim. You will go back. Wow, wow, she did go off there. She went, everything just got laid out. I like at the end how she was like, accept this person, you the goat. So uh, I respect there, you know, it's like not everybody sucks here. Most of you suck, except you, you're cool. Oh. So a video went sideways there, so I missed a little bit, folks, but it's like, it looked like the initial person like spit on the Walmart employee. And frankly, like, I would have enough if that, if that happened to me. Like, if, you, no, do not spit on me. Do not touch me. Let's go. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy. No touch. I work at Walmart, man. Like, come on. I I'm just trying to get through my day right now. Why do you need to be so aggressive? I would have enough too, honestly, at that point. That is, you know, last day for me. No. 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 Oh. Wow. Okay, so this this has to be, I mean, obviously it's staged, like that's ridiculous and they're filming it, but somebody has to clean that up, man. Someone has to clean up your now like human cereal that you've just made and it ain't gonna be me. That is not my job. It ain't gonna be me. I have no idea if this guy is in on this little prank. He might be the, the Walmart worker, in which case like, you know, ah ha, like really funny. But somebody actually has to clean that up, man. And if I was working, I am going home. I'm calling in sick. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cough. <laughs> I'm sick. I have to go, because I will not be cleaning that up. That is disgusting. I have a receipt. That's fine, and I'm calling AP. Why? And I'm calling AP. Why are you talking to me like that? I said just give me the refund. You threw it at her. I didn't throw, how could I throw a box? At her. I threw what? a receipt at her, ma'am. A piece of paper? You threw it at her. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling at me? Oh, now you want to play the innocent role. No, I'm, I'm asking you why you're yelling at me. I'm the customer. Whatever. I'm a customer, Peggy. Wow, wow you're a manager? Yeah, wow. And what are you? Yeah, okay, so our manager has definitely had enough. Obviously, though, we did not see the first part of this interaction, so we're only getting the second side where the manager is pissed off. Hey, 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 that's just the way we talk in the clink. But I imagine that the customer, like, apparently she threw something. Even if it is a receipt and you crumpled that thing up and you threw it at them, that's still not cool, man. Like, I don't want you throwing a receipt at me, right? Like, I'm not gonna serve you if you're throwing stuff at me. You're being abrasive. I'm not sure if she was or maybe the manager was just uh, having it enough that day, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, I want to see, man. Oh, man. Wow. Huh? I'm allowed to record. Yeah, yeah. Holy moly, guys. That is chaos. That is, that's past enough. You know, like we're, we're talking about people who've had enough in Walmart, employees. No, that's way past that point. Like there's the line of enough where, you know, you quit, you leave, you get on the, the freaking um, uh, microphone, you talk to everybody. That, I don't even know what that is, man. Like that is the worst day of your life. You're so far past the line that you can't even see the line. The line is a dot to you. I can't imagine getting to a point where I am so fed up that I just like, my body just starts throwing things. Like I'm just chucking stuff to the ground, man. Like that's the only way I'm gonna get this out. But that's where that guy is right now and that sucks. Yeah. Okay, you can record me all you want. That's Good, let's go. Let's go to my office then. Come on, let's go, follow him. What? Let's go. Why let's are go. you treating me? You need 
to know why you're treating me like this. Can you go to the office, please? I'm Boeing, and don't treat me like a criminal because I'm not. Never sold anything in my 45 years, thank you. Really? What's the price on it? You're telling me it's $15, it's $7, right? According to your website, it's $7, and according to the price tag. And you're gonna sit here and make me look like a criminal? It's $15. Okay, ring it up. Do you think I have some magic way to ring it up at $7? I don't feel like doing Yeah, I, I bet you don't, because you made me look like a idiot. Is that the end of the clip? Here, can we, can we get the last part of it then? Because it was like, yeah, yeah, can we do it again? Yeah. Okay, you can record me all you want. That's Good, let's go. Let's go to my office then. Come on, let's go. Follow me. What? Let's go. Let's why are you go. treating me? You need to know why you're treating me like this. Can you go to the office, please? I'm Boeing, and don't treat me like a criminal because I'm not. Never sold anything in my 45 years, thank you. Really? What's the price on it? You're telling me it's $15, it's $7, right? According to your website, it's $7, and according to the price tag. And you're gonna sit here and make me look like a criminal? It's $15. Okay, ring it up. Do you think I have some magic way to ring it up at $7? I don't feel like doing it. Yeah, I, I bet you don't, because you made me look like a idiot. Yeah, I mean, if that guy is an employee, if that's who we're looking at right now and he's the Walmart employee, first off, buddy, clearly you don't know your prices. And second off, you're not even in uniform, dude. So obviously you have had enough because uh, you're not even showing up to work in a Walmart uniform. So not ideal, man. Wear your panties. It's casual day. Oh. Wow, that is, yeah, that's enough. That's enough, guys. That's somebody who has had enough. One thing I've never understood, and maybe this is just because I've been a bad employee, but when you're working at like a big place like Walmart, and like I'm just a part-time worker, like I'm getting paid minimum wage or whatever, you know, why do I care so much about somebody who's stealing? Like obviously I'm gonna try and stop them, and I'm going to say something about it, but I'm not gonna get that upset about it. Like at the end of the day, this isn't my, thing you know it's like I'm a worker here you know like it sucks that you're stealing I want to stop you but I missed the part where that's my problem I'm not gonna lose it like that that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Look at his face. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that was kind of mean, guys. Like, my guy could have eaten it, to be honest. Although, he did look like he, like he he looked like he was about to murder somebody after that. Like, he got very serious very quickly, man. Also, uh, my guy looks like he's also the uh, cover of, like, a 2000s rock band alternative, something like that. So, um, respect, respect. I just moved into a house and I need to take a shower. Right, so it actually is a government policy. Um, what am I supposed to do to take a shower? Um, you can order them online. Like, I just can't tell you. I don't have a credit card. How am I supposed to order online? I don't know, but it's not, it's not a Walmart policy. I don't care. Like, I just need to scan my towels. I've already touched them. Okay. So why can't I scan them? Because they're a non-essential item and we're not allowed to sell them. How is a shower them? not essential? We're not allowed to sell them. What's your name? Wait, you're not allowed to sell towels? Is that something that's real? You're not allowed? Okay, well, I mean, I, I'm kind of on the customer side here. Like, I, I like the way that the, the Walmart employee was handling it. It's kind of like, this is what it is. But at the same point, if you're not allowed to sell the towels, why are they on the shelf? Like, take them off the shelf or at least put up a sign that says, we are not allowed to sell these. Like, do not pick them up. Maybe the sign was there and the customer missed her. I'm not sure. But that seems kind of ridiculous to me that you cannot sell a towel. I don't know. Attention Walmart shoppers and associates. My name is Beth from Electronics. I've been working at Walmart for almost five oh. years and I can say that everyone here is overworked and underpaid. The attendant policy is bullshit. We are treated for management and customers poorly every day. Whenever we have a problem with it, we're told that we're replaceable. I'm tired of the constant gaslighting. This company treats their elderly associates like To Jared, our store manager, you're a pervert. Greta and Kathy, shame on y'all for treating your associates the way you do. I hope you don't speak to your families the way you speak to us. 
Shout out to Kamonique, Patty, Shardell, and so many more. Walmart doesn't deserve y'all. Manage it and job. I quit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give a round of applause wow. for wow. Beth right there. That was that was well handled. We got everything out properly. Everything that needed to be said. You know, we uh, we threw out a couple jabs there. But frankly, after five years of working at a store like this, if you have no respect, then you deserve to give a few jabs. So shout out to Beth for getting it done properly. Well, there you have it, guys. That is our video of Walmart employees who had enough. Like, comment, and I'll see you next time.